Hello everyone, this is Usumachi speaking, and welcome to my new Let's Play, The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Now, this is a side LP which I will be uploading on the weekends. If you're watching this in the future, it means that all of the episodes are already uploaded. But for those who watch my episodes weekly, you'll know that there'll be two episodes a week, around 25 minutes. Remember not to spoil stuff in the comments, and this is a semi-blind LP, I haven't really finished the game, so if you got cool tips in the comments below, that will be great, but don't brag too much. <laughs> so this is my old file that I got into this, to that point, that's as far as I got in the game, that's all the hearts that I found, uh, maybe I'll be ending up with exactly just that. I'm not aiming to get absolutely everything, so if you're looking for a 100% LP, you're probably not going to find it here. I don't know at this point, but if I end up doing so, I'll put like an annotation on this video saying that I did, but I really don't know about that. Now, I haven't even thought of a name, so this is why I'm kind of like thinking what I should name him. I always named him something along the lines of Link, but... Nah. There's not much space in this game to name him. So let me just name him something else. I already named the uh, one above Link LP, so I'm just gonna name this one Uzi LP. And I'm, I'm not gonna... Everybody's gonna call him Uzi LP in the game, you know, the characters. And I'm just gonna say Uzi. So that we don't have to, like, say the whole thing. But at least this will identify that it's my Let's Play. And I don't have to put the, Uzi, the random Uzumachi in the, in the video. <laughs> so let's begin. This is gonna be fun, I hope. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's start. Long, long time ago, when the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow, a tiny peacock appear, appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of men a sword of golden light. With wisdom and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. had been restored, the people enshrined that blade with care. So we definitely know who that is. Although it's kind of weird to see her so early in the game, especially walking in a random house. Good morning, Master Smith. Goodness me, Princess Zelda! Do you sneak out of the castle? Come all this, all this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You know how he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's Uzi? The whole town is bust bustling for the annual Picori Festival. I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind terribly? Oh, is that what you're here for? Well, Uzi was up late helping me last night. He's still asleep. But I do have an errand at the castle. Yes, that should be fine. Lucy, time to get up. Lucy. 
Susie, time to get up! Link is always sleeping. <laughs> right, so we move around, we can roll like in Ocarina of Time. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. <laughs> all that we can do for now. Let's go to the this room. <coughs> Hey, Uzi. Princess Zelda is here. She'd like to know if you join her at the festival. Yeah, Uzi, come on, let's go check out the festival together. Yeah, like, he'll say no. Be like, no, I don't want to hang out with a princess. Mr. Smith already gave me permission to take you. Yes, after all, the festival only comes once a year. Go on, have fun. While you're there, you can do me a favor. I just meant to finish making this sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. Bye guys, I've done this made sword! <laughs> Make sure you don't lose this extremely important delivery. Yeah, it's a tradition for me to sing every time I get something. This is the blade that will be presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it! And while the two of you may be childhood friends, remember... Zelda is the Princess of Hyrule. You watch over her, don't let anything bad happen to her. Master Smith, quit worrying! We'll be perfectly safe. <clears throat> Come on, Uzi. Let's go check out the festival. Psst, and don't get her pregnant. <laughs> Twenty rubies. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's gonna get excited about rubies at the beginning, like in Twilight Princess. Only that in Twilight Princess is worse, cause Uzi over here. Because he gets excited every time you turn on the game by 5 rupees or 10 rupees, 20 rupees. It's always the same. And I know some people call it rubies, but I don't care. <laughs> <clears throat> I see a P there, not a B. Lucy, hurry, let's go. Uh, sure, girl. Over here, come on, hurry up! Hyperactive princess. Well, here we are, the town of Hyrule. That was fast. Looks like a party. Here we are, Uzi. Doesn't it look fun? Come on, let's go. Look around. <laughs> uh, Zelda. Uh, hello. Welcome to the Picori Festival. They say that every hundred years, the Picori come to Hyrule. Huh. And this is the hundredth year to the day since the last time Picori were here. Okay. Uh, Zelda. Lucy, there's a storyteller here. We should stop and listen to... Oh! I wonder what's over there! Uh... Long, long ago, that even longer before that. <laughs> uh, evil creatures appear in the world of humans. They were powerful, frightening beasts. And they created <clears throat> such trouble. <clears throat> but then the Picori came from the sky, bringing humans powerful magic. With the magic light force and the Picori blade, the beasts were repelled. The world of humans wants once more new peace, thanks to the Picori. So as not to forget our gratitude, we hold this festival each year. Now, remember little ones, the Picori only appear before the good little children. If 
you only do bad deeds, you will never get to see them, so be good. Yeah, sure. Um, where did Zelda go? Uh, hey, um, I was just wondering... So the Picotti are real! My father always told me they were. Oh, look at that! Uh, only once every hundred years, blah blah blah, Mystic Doorway's open. This is the door that links the human world to the world of the Picotti. Really? When this door opens, the Picotti can enter our world. And guess what? What? This marks the hundredth year since they last appeared. No, they last appeared here. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm sure something wonderful is going to happen at this festival. You just jinxed it, dude. Zelda, I just wanted to say, wasn't there going to be a sword fighting tournament at the castle? I wonder who won this year. Well, oh wow, over there, <laughs> over here. <laughs> Uh, Zelda, I... We have a winner! Oh my, Princess Zelda, you won the grand prize in our drawing? Wow! You get our choice of any of these wonderful prizes. What will it be? First, we have this lovely heart-shaped stone. Next, we have this magnificent gem, and finally, there's this teeny tiny shield. So, which one would you like? Let me guess, the jewel? Oh, but this heart stone is very cute too. Choose whichever one you like. The shield is so adorable! I think I'll take it. <laughs> what? Why? What would you take? Why would you want that ugly thing? What about the hearthstone? It's cute. Or, or this giant gem! It's pretty! Honestly, they're both, both much nicer than that nasty little shield thing. Why the hell did she put it on display anyway? Nope, I want the shield. Can I have it? What a strange princess you are. Well... Okay, here's your teeny tiny shield. Here, I want to give you a present. Doesn't this shield suit you perfectly, Uzi? Oh my god, a princess Zelda gave me a small shield! <laughs> Hold the button to protect yourself. Hmm. It is a little embarrassing though. It's so tiny. I'm badass. Yep, just I thought. You look great. Now, if anything happens, you can protect me with that shield. Oh, I almost forgot. We have to take Master Smith's sword to the castle. Let's go, Uzi. Sure. I was gonna tell you something, but I completely forgot what it was. So you can talk to people around, but they're just gonna be talking about the festival and whatnot. Come on, Uzi. Let's hurry to the castle. She's always running. <laughs> Deck is scrub. Ouch! That must be the business scrub I heard the soldiers talking about. They were saying a Deku scrub had been hassling all the passerby. Uzi, do something about it, otherwise we can't get to the castle. If only we had a way to defend ourselves against those nuts of his. 
And we use this, obviously. <laughs> Please forgive me, sir. I heard there was a festival and I came to town hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, we scrubs have a tendency to spit nuts as when we speak. Everyone got scared and ran away. No one would buy anything. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. I actually feel a little sorry for that business scrub, but that hurt. But that nut hurt. Oh well, we won't be hassling anyone now. We better hurry to the castle. Sure. But that actually explains a lot of why Deku Scrubs are always spitting nuts. <laughs> so we're here at the castle. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, Uzi! You brought the sword, did you? Then, as Minister of the Kingdom of Hyrule, I, Potho, accept this blade. You came just in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. I'm sorry, you see, but I better go. I have to prepare for the ceremony. I, ha I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. Yeah, I had a blast. Since you're here, Uzi, why don't you join us at the for the award ceremony? Do you know about that sword, Uzi? No. It is called the Bikori Blade, and it locks much evil away in that chest. The Bikori Blade is sacred among the people of Hyrule. The legend has it that, long ago, the Bikori gave us this blade. <coughs> Whoever wins this competition earns the honor of touching the Sacred Blade. Let the award ceremony commence! Vati, champion of the competition, you may approach the blade. <laughs> to think things would go this well. The Picori Blade and the Bound Chest spoken in Hawaiian lore. This chest must hold that which I seek. I'll, re I'll relieve you of its contents now. <laughs> Do not interfere with me. As Victor, I've earned the right to approach the Picori Blade. I've been waiting for this moment. Soldiers are scared. Are you? Why are you doing this? The princess with the mis mystic aura. The power that was gifted to the people of Hyrule still flows. Within the veins of the ladies of, the, of its royal family? Interesting. If I leave you now, you'll only cause me trouble later. That will never do. To stone with you. All who stand in my way shall share this fate. Now, to find out what power awaits me inside this chest. Huh? 
empty? There was nothing in there but a rabble of monsters? What is the meaning of this? Well, I know the force I'm after is somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry. I can take the, my time searching for it. <laughs> He's got his own laugh, copied by the mask salesman from oh, Majora's Mask. And I'm sleeping in a- oh, whoop, I'm up. What does he have to spin like that to just get up? Oh, thanks goodness you've awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see His Majesty the King. Alrighty. Oh, Uzi, you're awake. Are you feeling alright? Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. Speak! <laughs> it is as you and I have all heard. A sorcerer named Baati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. If we had the sacred bla Picori blade, we likely would have, could have broken their curse. But Baati shattered the blade. However, I have now given up hope. What do you know about the Picori? Uh, the Picori? Not much, beyond what the fairy tales say. They're supposed to be very tiny, if I remember correctly. Yes, the ones from the fairy tales. But the Picorian are no mere, mere legend. They most like, most certainly exist. No one outside the royal family knows the truth about them. The Picori, who forged the sacred blade, lived deep within the Minish woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. What? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once. No, soldiers will not do. The Picori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers could search for days and still find no sign of them. I see. If that's the case, then why not send Uzi? Ooh. If Uzi has recovered, then yes. I would like to ask this of him. Please, turn my precious Zelda back to normal. Hikori should know how to create a new sacred sword. It would be a dangerous journey now that those monsters have been freed. Please take this sword with you along with the broken Picori blade. You accepted the broken Picori blade! This is a part of the sword needed to reforge the sacred sword. Don't lose it! You got the smith sword! It's sharp blade made by your grandfather! <laughs> Very well. Then, send the soldiers to search for Vati at once. Deep within the Minish Woods, you'll find a place called Deep Wood Shrine. Once, Human and Picori shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Just press start and L and blah blah blah. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. I got a map of viral! Now you'll never get lost! <laughs> Alright, so here's the map. They separated each zone by squares. I'm counting on you, Uzi. Only 
that you can break Vati's curse and free Princess Zelda. We also don't have access to the whole world right now, so we'll be learning different skills that will allow us to unlock different places and so forth. So I'll be stopping here, because, uh, yeah, it's already 25 minutes. And I'll see you guys on the next one. You can just save the game here on the start menu. See you then, guys. Bye-bye.